Hi, my name is Minu Glim. I'm working on a sculptural objects and video installation, experimenting with the boundary of the performance and its documentation. I'm questioning what lingers despite the erasure and I'm asking how to live in your world. Here is my working place. It's not entirely my place. My working place is uncertain, so I cannot feel secure. However, my works are here. I didn't notice any big differences in my life during the pandemic situation because I already lived in relative social distance. When quarantine began suddenly, I paradoxically felt more connected with friends whom I hadn't seen for a long time, both here and abroad. I asked them how they were doing and started creating social media accounts in order to greet them. So this is my virtual hello to you. But now we are foreseeing a second pandemic. So now is the time to change and innovate, not to adapt. Where, how, and what should I do first? This idea confirms that the principle of my art practice is to rediscover what is connected from the past to here now and to take care of the future. These canes, I don't know how many there are. These sticks bore witness to life in the forest. They were the friends of Mr. Che, who passed away four years ago. He considered them to be extension of himself. I see them as erased voices, still strong and full of energy, that traces the shapes of memory. Mr. Che was one of the survivors during the Korean civilian massacre. These wooden sticks helped him to stand alone, amid isolation and injustice. He told me that these sticks were more human than those humans. Thus, he went to see his friends every day and brought them, one by one, into his house. At the end, his house became an expanded forest with no place for his family, no comfort and no rest. But these canes were left on the rooftop of his house after he died. No more visits, no more friends, no more conversation, and no more memory. I was disturbed by the thought of leaving them. I didn't know why I felt guilty. I had to think what to do because I couldn't let them work. So I started taking care of these thousand canes, one by one, cleaning and seeking to preserve against the insects and so forth. Some of them I tried to engrave with patterns, believing they could reincarnate, giving them a second life. This is what I am doing during these days, Amy, the pandemic. These canes were invited to be exhibited this May in Seoul, but the exhibition was unfortunately cancelled. As we know, under the rules of the COVID-19 pandemic, everything is unpredictable and time seems to have stopped. We all became like both people. What is the meaning of an exhibition in the pandemic era? I don't know the answer yet. But I want to show that I won't give up in this world. Even isolated and with whatever difficulties may divide us, 
I want to say I won't let them disappear. These sticks are devices that assist and expand the body, but that at the same time are also incomplete. Thus, they are the parole, the third life, narrative form, which will find a new home and new memories.